Welcome everyone to another deep dive into the most fascinating headlines from across the galaxy. We've got a lot to uncover today, from controversial art to, well, potentially explosive gemstones. Sounds like a typical day in the 29th century. Right. You'd think we'd be used to it by now. But this first headline really made me do a double take. Apparently, the Vatican isn't too pleased with the latest trend in art we're now we're talking genetically engineered exoskeletons. They're calling it an affront to the image of God. It's interesting, isn't it? This kind of tension between science and religion, it's not new. We've seen it throughout history. Well, absolutely. But this time it feels different. You know, like we're not just talking about paintings or sculptures. We're talking about growing a whole exoskeleton from DNA. That brings up a whole other level of questions. Exactly. Are we creating life? manipulating it ways we shouldn't. Yeah. And what does it even mean for something to be sacred in a world where we can literally engineer life itself? It's a lot to unpack. And speaking of things that are uh, complicated, stellar opals are back in the news. Yes, those beautiful, volatile, let's just say energetic, shall we? Energetic is an understatement. But you're right, stellar opals are making headlines again. New Luck now is formally protesting Shen Yuan's control of the Flincarn asteroid belt. That's where most of those uh, energetic gems are found. And you can understand why everyone is so on edge. Imagine a resource so powerful, so potent, that it could fuel entire civilizations. Or, you know, accidentally blow them to smithereens if you're not careful. That too. It's happened before. Remember Kepler-186? Mm -hmm. That entire civilization nearly wiped out because of a stellar opal Jane reaction. They never fully recovered. Yeah, not a good look. So when we talk about stellar opals, we're not just talking about sparkling gemstones. We're talking about a source of immense power. And power, as we all know, has a way of complicating things. That's putting it mildly. History is full of examples just like this, where control over a valuable resource leads to conflict. It's a tale as old as time. And it seems, even in the 29th century, some things never change. Speaking of things that could lead to conflict, from potential galactic showdowns, let's zoom in on New Luck now. They're facing their own share of turmoil, even without stellar opals. Yeah, this next set of headlines, piracy, some wild new engine technology, public unrest, it's a lot to untangle. It's like someone threw a jigsaw puzzle of New Luck Now's problems at us, and we have to figure out the picture. Okay, I'm game. What pieces do we have? Well, we've got Galen Raiders. They're always a nuisance. But their activity has really ramped up lately. And it seems more than a coincidence that this coincides with New Luck now trying to, well, get back into space. Remember, they haven't really been a major player in interstellar travel for... Centuries, yeah. So they dip their toes back in the galactic pond and boom, space pirates. Pretty much. <laughs> and as if that wasn't enough, now we've got the origami engine in the mix. This technology, it's revolutionary, really. Imagine being able to break the great silence. That's right. Actually connecting with those lost civilizations we've always wondered about. Okay, even for someone who reports on this stuff, that's mind-blowing. Talk about a game changer. Are they really that close? It's still early stages, of course. But the potential is definitely there. But where did the protests fit into all this? Ah, right. Well, developing technology like this takes resources, massive resources. And some people in New Luck now think those resources would be better spent on, well, problems a little closer to home poverty, social inequality, the list goes on. The classic dilemma, right? Reach for the stars or fix what's broken here on the ground. I don't envy the people making those decisions. It's a tough one, no doubt. But speaking of looking to the stars, well, New Luck now grapples with these challenges. Another part of the galaxy is focused on expanding our view of the universe itself. You're talking about that new gravitational observatory they're building near Atacarani, right? That's a pretty volatile star system to be hanging around. It is. But it's also the perfect place to try to observe something as mind-bogglingly distant as the Andromeda galaxy. Wait, really? Andromeda? As in another galaxy entirely? The one and only. It's an incredibly ambitious project using the warping of space-time to literally see farther than we ever thought possible. The hope is to, well, maybe find some answers. About life, about the universe, who knows? Wow. Just when you think you've heard it all. But speaking of pushing boundaries, this last headline brings us back down to Earth, or rather zero gravity. Zero gravity yoga? Huh, you'd think with spaceships and, you know, origami engines, we'd have moved past the whole yoga fad. Well, some things never go out of style. I guess the pursuit of inner peace is universal. I guess you're right. It's just funny to imagine, you know, a whole galaxy of beings floating around trying to find their zen in zero-g. <laughs> Makes you wonder what kind of poses they've come up with. 
downward facing asteroid. Haha, <laughs> maybe. But seriously, it just goes to show whether you're on Earth, in space, or in another galaxy entirely, we're all just trying to figure things out, find our place in the universe. Well said. And speaking of figuring things out, this deep dive has certainly given us a lot to think about, hasn't it? We've covered so much art, religion, those volatile, stellar opals, pirates, even the possibility of finding other civilizations. Don't forget zero gravity yoga. Right, of course. It's been quite a journey. So any final thoughts before we wrap things up? What's the biggest takeaway for you? I'd say it's the reminder that the universe is full of surprises. And no matter how much we think we know, there's always something new to discover just around the corner. Perfectly put. Well, on that note, from all of us here at The Deep Dive, thanks for joining us on this exploration of the most fascinating headlines from across the galaxy.